Oh, look, it's so adorable. Oh. Hi everyone, welcome to the messy desk. So it's Halloween, and what better way to celebrate than to build some nano blocks? Well, this is a nano block, and this is like a not a nano block. It's basically same concept but different brand knockoff whatever you call it and that's why it's also like half the price of the original one and well being the master of procrastination that i am i bought this like literally years ago i need time to build them yay let's start with the knockoff first if you don't know, nano blocks is basically tiny little what you can call like building block, Lego blocks. I think we are all more familiar with the term Lego blocks, I guess. And basically, it's like Lego blocks for adults. And back then, I was pretty crazy about nano blocks. I bought this little silicone base thing that they offered. It's kind of supposed to be handy if you're like on the go and then you can put the blocks here and they don't like fall all over the place or something. And then uh, I also got these tweezers. Now these are kind of handy. So since the blocks are so tiny, if you happen to place it wrongly, you can see when it closes, there's this little round circle. So this is just the right size to grab out one of the blocks. The, I don't know what you call that. The spokes of the block. So let's get building. This is the first time I've tried this brand. From what I can see, the quality looks pretty decent. Okay, right off the bat we can see that the color is quite different from what is printed. I mean, I don't mind this neon bright orange. It's just not very accurate. Maybe put it this way. Yes, it seems like the size they made it like exactly the same as a nano block. So this is how you can flip it with the tweezers. So the blue grey, it's not even grey, it's just blue. The blue pieces are the ones that are already built. So this looks like a way easier and quicker build than expected. Not sure if you consider that a good or a bad thing. For me, it feels like you're not really getting your money's worth. Well, granted, it is cheaper than the real nano block one. Okay, now we add some tea to the mouth. So right now it's just a black background. Now we have some teeth. I would say that that is a very fragile way to build it. Like I would use a two by four instead of two one by fours. There's pretty much no support in the middle. It's just emptiness. So I'm not sure why they did that. Okay, I just counted the pieces. There's not enough given to switch out to the two by four. So I'm just going to leave it be. Last bits of the head. So with nano block, they give the built blocks in a faded shade, but you can still see the color below. So that definitely makes it easier than this, where everything is blue regardless of which block color it is. But for this build, it's not too bad because it's a pretty simple build. So. Okay, so some pieces, there's no extras at all, so good luck if you drop any piece. Okay, the last tip of the hat. Okay, it would be nicer if it was like folding downwards rather than just straight all the way up. But that's... Oh, this is not going in. There's a difference between nano block and the off brands, I guess. Like the tolerances for nano block is much better. Manufactured better QC and all that. 
and the designs themselves, like the the way stuff is built, tends to be better. Oof. Okay, that was a really tight fit. Okay. Oof. We are done with the first pumpkin. So I'll say it's pretty cute. Maybe very neon or orange. Alright. Now let's try the actual nano block. Nano block, here we go. So this nano block build has about 170 pieces and it's a level 2. So it should be pretty quick. I'm not seeing how many pieces there are in this guy as it's not written. I mean, if I see this on the market, would I still buy it? Yes, because it's half the price of the real nano blocks. I mean, nano blocks are really pretty expensive. You know, you, you just build it once and you're not going to take it apart and build it again and again. Or maybe you do that, but it's kind of like a one-off activity and for 10 plus, 20 plus dollars depending on how big the model is so it could run even more expensive it's a pretty pricey hobby so yellow blocks also gives you all the blocks kind of in like different packs with different types of blocks it is somewhat useful to put them keep them separate but at the same time i don't really have more containers so here they go this is the first time i'm building with this translucent nano blocks so I'll say they look really pretty cool right off the bat there's definitely way more pieces in this than the knockoff so yeah maybe maybe this is it's not that expensive after all doesn't seem too lengthy either. On one side you have instructions for the jack-o'-lantern and the other side is for the ghost. Alright, let's start with the pumpkin first. Actually just looking at this, this is identical or almost identical. You know, it's, yeah, it's almost identical to the build for this pumpkin. The only difference I can see at a glance is that you use uh, four by is this like four pieces here instead of two here that's pretty much it like the design of the eyes and the nose is identical wow all right let's get building this should be fast then well the the design is identical but the way they use the blocks is not exactly the same i think yeah like for example here, where I was complaining that they were using the 4x1 block. Here the nano block, they actually give you a really long piece, so it's way more stable. So that's the difference between the knockoff and the real thing. And also the instructions are better, like at each step they tell you how many of each block is needed and it's in colour and the previous blocks are shown in a faded colour. So that's useful like for example at this step, you can see exactly on which colour your block should be going. Alright, let's start building. Yeah, it's a problem when you pour everything out, especially when you have transparent blocks. Okay, now we get to the teeth layer. I guess this is the biggest one. So clearly, this other brand, this U block, your block, is like a knockoff of nano block. Like even the design is almost completely identical. Oh, I made the same mistake as when I was building the previous one, putting a 1x2 instead of an L. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the first time I've seen a block with manufacturing defect and nano block amongst all the sets I've built in. I think I've easily built over 10 
20 sets so drop that so you can see over here and here those are like missing it's like burnt off or something or uh, just not enough plastic in the mold so this is honestly the first time I've seen a deformed block in a nano block now for the nose and the eyes the last bit for the hat okay so that's the pumpkin done and looks identical except for the different colored orange block which one do you prefer I in terms of looks, I personally prefer the neon orange. This looks kind of subtle. Might be nice if you have some like, lighting to go with it at night or something. But looks wise, I do prefer this one more. But value proposition, now that I know that these two are exactly the same, I'll say I'll just buy the nano blocks next time because sure it's twice as expensive but I'm only half done with the puzzle, there's still the ghost, so I'll say that the knockoff doesn't provide any value and you get lousier blocks, they don't give you like as much variety of blocks like these large ones, like this one to span the mouth or to span across the, the hole over here, you get the long ones but the knockoff you just have to like make do with smaller pieces. So that's the advantage. Alright, let's move on to the ghost. The ghost looks pretty cute actually. This little ghost is giving me like the nano block mini vibes. It's very cute in there. Okay, so most of the ghost is done. Just need to make a little lantern. Oh, look, it's so adorable. Oh, and now we're left with these transparent pieces for the little stand. And that's it. We're done. Well, there's a lot more extra pieces than the knockoff, and this is it. This is the ghost and the pumpkin. So, value proposition wise, definitely the nano blocks. Right, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye and happy Halloween. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.